So today we will be discussing the problem on code forces, which is just nobody. So the problem states that there is a group of n people. Some of them might be liars, who always tell lies. Other people always tell the truth. So the i person says that there are at least n liars among us. Determine if what people are saying is contradictory or it's possible. If it is possible, we need to output the number of liars in the group. If there are multiple possible answers, you have to give one of them. So in this case, the input is the number of test cases, then an integer n, and the list of n. And here the condition is given that n does not exceed 10 to the power 4. So what we need to output is a single integer. If what people are asking is contradictory, we will simply output minus 1. Otherwise, we need to output number of liars in the group. So if you are having multiple answers, we can output any one of them. Let's look at one of the cases. So here we have 1 and 2 as our input. So for the 0th person, it would be at least 1 liar. And for first person, it would be at least 2 liars. Now, if there is at least 1 liar, the possibility can be that 2 is a liar. But if we have at least 2 liars, then both must be liar. And in that case, 2 would not be speaking truth, which means both are not liars. This uh, creates a contradictory situation. So the first condition, which is at least 1 liar, is true. And hence, we output 1 here. In the second case, we have 2, 2. So in both the cases, it is telling that at least 2 liars. They both are liars, and they are telling that uh, there are at least two liars, so they are telling the lie. Hence, a contradictory situation arises, and the output is minus one here. In the case of zero zero, we can simply say that there are no liars, so output would be zero simply. In case of one also, we can say only one liar is there, and that liar is telling that at least one liar should be there, which also faces the contradictory situation giving rise to one minus one as the output. Again, zero would give zero as the output. Now, considering the five five three five, we can see that we need at least five liars. If at least five liars are there, then all the five will be liars, and the one which is telling that it needs uh, at least five liars would also be included, which would also raise a contradictory situation. Again, same case for uh, this file and this file. So, what our approach would be here? The approach is quite simple. So, we will iterate from 0 to n, like 0 to 5 in this case, one by one. And then, what we need to check is that we will first find that how many at most liars can the number can handle. And then, after handling this, we would calculate if there are at most, suppose, k number of liars, then the number of people who are there would be n minus k. And we can easily check that the truth tellers are well, let it be k and the number of liars in the group is n minus k hence the total comes out to be n which is true so in this case what we do we would print the value of k and break out of the loop for better understanding let's go through the code so so let's take example of five five three three five so now what we do is we are iterating from 0 to n plus 1 where n plus 1 at term is excluded so it will be from 0 to 5 now running from 0 to 5 first i is 0 here k is 0 and for x and l for the first x is 5 and our i is 0 now if x is less than equal to i 5 is not less than equal to i so we would move to next 5 and compare it is also not less than equal to 0 it is not all the elements are not less than equal to 0 so we move on to i equal to 1 moving on to i equal to 1 that will also not satisfy any condition moving on i equal to 2 this will also not satisfy the condition i am talking about this condition and as soon as we move to i equal to 3 it satisfies the condition that x is less than equal to i so in this case our k becomes 2 now i is 3 k is 2 n is 5 so we have i equal to n minus k as n minus k would be 5 minus 2 which is 3 so i becomes equal to n minus k and we would print i so our answer would be 3 here so now let's talk about the time complexity as we can see after having the loop for the test cases which is a default loop we are having two loops here one is for i and other is for elements in the list hence the time complexity would be o of square so hope you guys understand this approach thanks for watching